the only the only crazy shit I could say that happened at Priority was that my first solo album didn't come out through Priority over, you know, some shit that people probably don't know about, you know what I mean? And it's, uh, you know, my, my first solo album, as everybody knows, ended up coming out on Polygram Mercury, but I originally signed to Priority, but yeah. they ended up selling my contract. Shout out to, 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 to Andrew Shack over there, too. Because, you know, it, it was a situation like they explained it to me, like Shaq and Kobe. You feel me? At the time, me and Cube wasn't seeing eye to eye. And, you know, let's just say they didn't ask him, could he give me a solo deal? But he didn't have me signed as a solo artist. So he told them they'd never get another Ice Cube record if they put my album out. So, you know, they gave me... Wow. A big ass, you know, the rest of my, uh, the rest of my my advance, and then another, I think twenty five thousand. I appreciate you, Andrew Shack, my nigga. And uh, you know, I went over to Mercury, Mercury Polygram. I didn't get dropped. You know, what I mean, they sold my contract, so it was a good thing. But you know, it was weird because at the time, it just let me know how much power and influence I had over my own life now because the cats that I was looking up to and waiting in the in the office waiting for a check so I could go pay my mama rent was now trying to stop my money and me getting three hundred thousand dollars in my pocket at eighteen years old. So that was pretty crazy. You know what I mean? Because I think that I, I knew I was a man yeah. at that point. Yeah. Like you said, you gotta take care of family and whatnot. You know, whenever somebody tries to stop that, that's uh, you know, that's like an act of war. That's so, you know, you you're fucking with a man's livelihood. You know, um, but you went well, over to the other label. Cube, I, Ice Cube, uh, you know what I mean? And, and shout out to him too. Yeah. I don't want to say it was an act of war. At that time, I didn't understand it, and I would have took it as that. But what he was doing was trying to protect himself. You know what I mean? All the pox shit was going on. All the death row shit was going on. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't have handled it how he handled it, but every man is different, you know what I mean? But I can't sit here and and, and throw a rock at this nigga. I'm going to just keep it one thou wow. That's exactly what happened. Now, how a nigga feel about it is on him, you feel me? But, yeah, that was the craziest thing that happened to me at Priority. Yeah. 